Yeah. Mm -hmm. And what about some other peptides? I think, um, you know, of course, the, the most popular one I would say is BPC-157, mm -hmm. TB500, right? They become very yeah. famous. I'm sure all the athletes are using it. So mm -hmm. can you talk a little bit about these two? Yeah, certainly. So um, the, the thymus and beta or the TB500 is actually funny. Uh, um, uh, the TB500 actually was named um, based off of a horse uh, product, a veterinary product, which was given to help racehorses um, recover from injury. Um, and so that's how it became the name TB500, it's sort of like a, a brand name um, that was really built in the veterinary world. And when it started in the veterinary world, it went to the bodybuilding world, <laughs> uh, which is why um, it sort of, sort of kept the name TB500. But the thymus and beta-4 is really the real name of that product. And that's a product that is mimics exactly the same product that is produced by our own bodies um, uh, naturally. Um, and it is a great repair product. It are is. They, uh, are they the same? Yeah. <laughs> is so, there still controversy? <laughs> yeah. So the, there's a, a, a lot of uh, thymus and beta 4 fragments um, that still have biological activity that are sometimes shorter. And so um, the, the TB500 really is, a, I would say, a ubiquitous for anything that has to do with the thymus and beta 4. Um, uh, but, uh, but technically, the TB500 has a. Has a Technical designation doesn't exist. It's just a, a brand name. Okay. All right. All right. Yeah. So it's just a brand name for TB4. Correct. It's correct. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Um, and then the, uh, you know, what do you think the fact that a lot of people are using the two together? Do you think that they are synergies when the two are used together? The, the yeah. TB500. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, they're both great recovery products uh, for repair and recovery and and have so many different applications. I'm really actually excited for the Thymus and Beta 4 because that one is actually very close to FDA approval, um, which is uh, is interesting. The BPC, on the other hand, is very far away, uh, but but I, I, I like both of them a lot. And I've used both of them uh, myself to repair and recover from sports injuries. I've seen miraculous changes to help prepare from surgery related outcomes. Um, and so I, I'm a big fan of both of them. And they both act uh, very differently. Um, uh, and so I generally would say that the thymus and beta-4 profile is a little bit more soft tissue and, mu and, and muscle mass, um, whereas the, the BPC is really good at reducing inflammation and better with tendons and ligaments. Um, and so I think that together they can, can both have a synergistic effect to have really great repair and recovery. Hmm, interesting. Are they both good for bones or, or the BPC is a better one for, for bone health? Yeah, so I would say that the BPC is slightly better for bone health, um, uh, but uh, but you know I, I think that uh, there's a very very few studies for bone health for either of them. Um, but uh, but again, I think for repair and recovery, they're both going to help. Um, anything that needs vascular circulation, um, the thymus and beta four is is really a good product for. Okay, so the the thymus and beta four is good for for circulation. Um, yeah, so what, one of the main things that it's doing is increasing um, proteins like uh, VEGF, which help with the angiogenesis and bringing blood flow to new areas. Um, and and so, um, so, yeah, anything that would require, um, you know, angiogenesis uh, or, you know, accelerated wound healing, that is where thymus and beta-4 is really going to, uh, to be a star. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and do you think that they're both good for cardiovascular health? Yeah, much more the thymus and beta-4 again, I, I think. Um, the thymus and beta-4 uh, has many studies in, in, in cardiac issues and improvements. Um, and so, again, dealing with more angiogenesis, um, you know, in, 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 and so this, it's really perfect for a cardiac type of application. Okay. And what about, I think there's a little bit of a, you know, a difference in opinions about whether or not to inject these peptides directly mm -hmm. into the soft tissue or joints. Um, different practitioners have different ideas. Yeah. Well, what are your thoughts? Well, I, I will say that there aren't really any studies um, comparing one to the other. So I think that most of what we know tends to be anecdotal. Um, and and uh, I would say that in my personal opinion, um, I haven't seen a ton of applications where injections into the tissue may, plays a major benefit um, outside of just dosing regularly. Um, but with that being said, uh, there are a few exceptions, I think, uh, especially in, in, you know, avascular areas. And, and, uh, I think that even in, in particularly cosmetic procedures, um, there, there are some benefits of injecting locally, but I don't think it's absolutely needed. Hmm. Okay. Cosmetic procedures utilizing, uh, thymus metaphor. 
Yeah, certainly. So a lot of people will, uh, I would say, use thymus and beta-4 or, or even the BPC um, as it's going to help improve collagen synthesis, particularly that type 1 collagen synthesis. Um, and so a lot of people will, will microneedle it, for instance, into faces. Um, a lot of people will, uh, you know, after plastic surgery, try and inject it locally. Um, uh, so there, there are a couple of cosmetic applications I've seen that have been really effective.